Welcome back, everyone. Uh, I'm here in the uh, shipping container. <laughs> it's it's kind of a little bit dark right now, but if I uh, put the subject up right here, that brightens the whole room up. So here's the subject we're going to discuss. Hey, JW Org, what are the donations funding? What are the donations funding? Jehovah's Witnesses create three new businesses in Ireland to handle the financial assets. Get this. So we're going to look at this. Miss Yusato has uh, done a really nice article on Avoid JW. We're going to cover, cover the whole thing. Now, first of all, I want you to reminisce back to all the years that you've been a JW. I was a JW, 30 years. And all those years, they said, we need donations for humanitarian need. We help, we do all this disaster relief work. Uh, all our builds, all our Kingdom Hall builds all over the world. And printing literature and now, uh, of course, making movies. So this is what the standard uh, rank and file knows about their donations. This is where they figure their donations are going. But we're going to show on this video that uh, their donations are not going to where you think they are. So we're going to look at a, a couple of scriptures here after a commercial, a quick commercial. We're going to look at a couple of scriptures. We're going to look at, if you log on to JW Hub, what do you see? We're going to look at that. Then we're going to get into Miss Usato's um, article. And uh, then we're going to have a, our closing commercial. And I'll do a little dance there. Okay, well, stick with the program. Here we go. Uh, we have a little commercial right here. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. Uh -oh. Money makes the world go round. Downtown Remy gave me the sound. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. You got a five dollar bill, put your hands up. You got a ten dollar bill, put your hands up. You got a twenty dollar bill, put your hands up. You got a fifty dollar bill, put your hands up. Holla holla. Money makes the world go round. I'm the talk around town. Remy gave me the sign. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. Yes, there certainly is um, a lot of uh, behind-the-scenes uh, deals going on with the Watchtower. Now, a lot of your donations, a lot of your money, as as you've seen in the, the, the little video footage, Money, Money, and that's a licensed song radio edit uh, off Storyblocks, um, and we've been using it all summer here. Uh, and at the end of the program, we're going to show at each of the assembly days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, how they ask for money. And then at the very end, uh, they talk about all the humanitarian needs and this and that, but they will not disclose what we're going to disclose to you today. You'll only find this on XGW channels. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's get right into this. I'll show you what I see. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses create three new businesses in Ireland to handle these financial assets. We're going to take a look at this. But I wanted to show you this. Uh, if you go into JW uh, Org, um, on, right onto their hub, and you go all the way down, um, right at the bottom here, if I can get down there, there's a hub right there. You see it? I'll just move off the screen here. You see it behind my head? JW Hub right here. Well, if you click there, up comes this. And of course, we, we registered into this when we were registering a tour for Bethel in Toronto. So you can register tours, donations, and it's just uh, you put an email in, you put your name in, and you click a few boxes and, and you get a you get on into the hub. So hubba hubba. <laughs> so you notice the first thing on the hub? 
uh, find a meeting closest to you and then make a donation to our worldwide work. So if you click that box, donate to Jehovah's Witness. It's a, it's, there's only two choices on the very direct menu and one of them is about money. So donate, it's all here worldwide, your congregation, your circuit, your convention, branch construction. You see, this is really a, um, <clears throat> it's not true. They're not providing all the information. Uh, JW Org is not a transparent company. So they say worldwide work. Well, is the worldwide work investing all these tens of billions of dollars into investments? It's almost like you're laundering the money. You're not using the money that was given to you, JW Org, to help people. And what do we mean by that? Well, I'm going to move over to my next tab. What does the Bible say about religion? It says, uh, well, Jesus says to him, I'm the way, the truth, the life. And uh, if you go to James, the book of James, Jesus, brother, half brother, whatever, James, he says, religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained from the world. So it's right in the Bible uh, when it, and other translations when it says visit, it's meaning to look after, to care for. And um, JW Org does not do this at all. They do not help orphans and widows. Now, if you look at a lot of religions on earth, they do. There's lots of uh, religions that have orphanages. They have uh, nursing homes. They have homes for, for un unwed mothers. Uh, there's all kinds of religions that are supporting all kinds of needs of people. So, so the donations come in and they, they're always being funneled out. And by the way, in these other religions, um, like for instance, the Catholic Church, and I don't proclaim to support any particular religion, but I know a little bit about the Catholic Church because my good wife was once Catholic. So we talk about these things. And, and in their religion, people that work to help people, they get a, it's a job. They get paid. They hire professionals, counselors. And the Catholic Church hires them in. They, they have family counseling. People come in, unwed mothers. They provide hostels, homes, orphanages to help people. Now, they've had their problems, like all the religions, in dealing with people. And they've, they've had to make a lot of changes. And, uh, of course, that religion had to do a lot of CSA payouts for how they handled some of the people and how these priests got away from it. But these things have changed, but these religions are out there. Uh, Seventh-day Adventists, they build hospitals. I don't know about the Mormons, though. I don't know about the Mormons, but helping people. What about helping the homeless? You see, JW Org, they stand there with their carts in the street looking righteous, but they're not helping the homeless. They're not out there giving them socks. But you know what? That happens on Christmas. Christmas time, everyone pulls in. There's a good spirit, good giving spirit. And there's a lot of people around that time. A lot of religions helping the homeless. Not JW Org. They do not recommend any of their members to do anything like that. Now, if anyone thinks he's religious and not, does not bridle his tongue, uh, he deceives his heart. This person's religion is worthless. So when we see the governing body getting on the stage and blasting off, the governments are wicked, Satan's system's wicked, everything's wicked, but yet now they're hopping into bed with people that are not Jehovah's Witnesses. We're going to see this in the next article. Uh, it says in Matthew 6, 1 to 34, Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. So then you'll have no reward. You see, by, by standing on the street corners with your carts, handing out JW Org business cards, do you not see a parallel, folks, to the religion that we were once part of? Or maybe you're watching this for the first time. Maybe you're still a part of it. Maybe you just got off of the cart witnessing. Just got off. You handed out a lot of business cards. You felt good. No. <laughs> According to the Bible, beware. You know, people just see you. You just look righteous. You see, you're not out there helping the people. And that's what uh, Jesus' brother said. Uh, your religion's worthless if you're not helping the orphans and the widows. And you know what JW Org does? They send the orphans and the widows to the government, to the food banks, to government for provisions. They don't have any provisions for them, not even for their own. So now let's take a look at money. <clears throat> uh, what about money? Well, JW Org is going to use some scriptures to back up 
how, why they're investing the money. They're really slick at uh, making uh, scriptures, trying to make scriptures tie into what they're doing. But when it gets down to it, folks, <clears throat> the Bible has a lot to say on money. It says, wealth gained hastily will dwindle. No one can serve two masters, for either he'll hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. He who loves money will not be satisfied with money. He who loves wealth with his income, this is a vanity. The rich rule over the poor. The borrower is the slave of the lender. And uh, take care, and uh, Jesus said, be on the guard against all covetousness, covetousness, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. So uh, we got to be careful, JW Org. Um, what are they doing? Well, right in Matthew it says, "Do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth." Right here, where moth and rust destroy. You know that's what they're doing, storing up gold and treasures on earth. They're not helping the poor. You see these donations that are coming in. They're making it look like it's going to help humanitarian needs. And they don't. If there's a hurricane in some country and they have kingdom halls there, they will help to an extent. And they'll tell their own members down there not to donate locally. Don't give to the need, give to them, and then they'll take care of it. That's how they do it. So this is their website. This is what they say. Uh, let's take a look at um, Miss Usato, and uh, and in case you don't know who Miss Usato is, she is the uh, the the author, the writer of this article, and she uh, does a lot of writing, Miss Usato, and you can check her out here. I'm going to put a link into this avoid uh, Watchtower Examiner's post. You can click on there, and you get a lot of other articles that Miss Usato writes. She's a good writer, good researcher. You now she came out of the watchtower just like any of us. So what are these? What are what are the donations funding? A comparative look at watchtower's presence in Germany and the UK. So let's get into it. Uh, written by Miss Usato. This is brand new information, folks. This is just put out here August thirtieth, twenty twenty four. So in August of twenty twenty four, and this is brand new stuff. I, I can't believe how the XJWs are so quick on this stuff. August 2024. We just finished the month. We're right here. It says Jehovah's Witnesses established three new firms in Ireland to handle financial assets and create a strategy for enhancing their financial management capabilities. Minna Asset Management and Minna Treasury Services and Lepta Payment Solutions are the companies. I bet uh, none of the JWs know about this. Now, this development highlights the group's growing financial corporation and raises questions about the sources and the uses of their substantial financial resources. Predominantly, funded by donations from their members, wooden boxes engraved with the word contribution is found in the back of every Kingdom Hall. And since 2000, there are many forms of giving money to the organization. And if you watch the video to the end and watch the the announcements or how they do their last meeting on every assembly here this last summer they tell you of all the various ways you can donate and they even have a donation center at these assemblies and you can go to the donation center and they they say we cr we'll take it credit debit and we'll take reoccurring payments we'll take your estates they'll take it all now <clears throat> uh <laughs> That, so we're talking about these donation boxes with the words contribution. They're at the back of every hall. Here's what they look like right here. Here's a picture of it right behind me. I'm going to actually move off the screen so you can see that. There it is. So I've seen that. Uh, you can donate at jw.org. That's the hub that I, that I was into right here. You know, you can hit the, hit the donation link right there. And they want you donating for sure. They want you donating. Okay, so we'll get back into the article here. And uh, what does it say? Well, it says wooden boxes with the word contributions are found at every Kingdom Hall. And there's, there's many ways to donate. Um, additional, uh, additionally, significant real estate transactions as part of their strategy to, uh, you know, they've made additional real estate transactions to liquidate high value properties is what they're doing. They're selling off kingdom halls left and right. And this includes ongoing sales and relocations related to their global headquarters and their regional facilities. 
So what does MENA and LEPTA mean to the organization? Well, the illustration of MINAs, MENA, MINA, it's a MINA, the illustration of the MINA, chapter 100. So this is, this is it. This is where Jesus uh, has, uh, you know, he's, he's given these ten slaves. Um, each of them had a silver mina, and he said, go do business, and when I come back, um, you know, do something with it. So what he ended up doing with the slave that, that did nothing, the one slave buried his mina. So he took it away and gave it to the one that did a lot with it. So they're trying to justify their whole thing with this scriptural illustration. You know, uh, well, we better do something. We better not be like a slave who buries the money. We better do something like the other, the high slave, and we better invest our money. You see, this is how they're pitching it to themselves. They're, they don't have to pitch it to us, the world, because we know this is fraud. Fraudulent use of contributions, because they're not telling us. They're not telling you where they're using the money. So this is how they're pitching it to themselves. Uh, what are they telling you? If you look at the picture again, I'll get out of the screen. Um, they're up there, they're, they're talking about the eight lepta, a person could buy two sparrows. You are precious, you know, here, here you are. You know, Mark 11 and 12, she put more in than all the others, she put a little coin and so what they're trying to say is the poor should not hold back from given even if this if it's a small amount that's what it says here and do not compare what you can do with what others can do or with what you were able to do in the past and do your best in Jehovah's service and do appreciate what we do that's what it says do uh, do your best <laughs> it says Jehovah appreciates what we do do your best in Jehovah's service so so there you have it um, from JW Org, the illustration of the minus. So, the financial backing for these new changes is significant uh, in the organization. Uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses are thought to have assets worth tens of billions of dollars. Can you believe that, folks? Tens of billions of dollars gathered through donations from their members, and these donations given voluntarily to support the Jehovah's Witnesses have funded the organization's activities worldwide from preaching efforts to building projects and financial investments. Contributing to this organization is heavily coerced by their website videos, publications, their events including edu educational videos, teaching children to donate their allowance so they're being generous to Jehovah, you know, their ice cream money to show appreciation for them. And forms of donating are cash, electronic donations, estate contributions, wills, bequests, stocks, bonds, businesses, not to mention the free labor from their members when it comes to building new buildings. Now the Jehovah's Witnesses foray into asset management follows significant real estate transactions. For example, in 2016, their buildings in Columbia Heights in the parking lot of at 85 J Street, New York, were sold for $1 billion. Now, in 2018, the group sold one of its prime apartment blocks in Brooklyn to a private equity firm for uh, $202 million. So if we think $202 million, folks, if they're paying out some of these cases $35 million, it doesn't take long to... To use up all that money if you're paying out CSA cases because these CSA cases <clears throat> excuse me yeah these CSA cases are going for millions of dollars some of these ones that they're fighting and then they're settling privately out of court and then the uh, victims have to sign non-disclosure agreements so nothing hits the uh, headlines but anyways they're selling off stuff 202 million for the uh, apartment blocks Brooklyn to a private firm and these sales are just two examples uh, that were a part of a broader strategy to liquidate valuable real estate assets as the group relocates its headquarters from Brooklyn, New York, Warwick, to the new Warwick facility in New York. And that's where they're you know, planning all this Ramapo stuff and movie production. And, um, a lot of money is going into that. Well, since then... These real estate sales have also contributed significantly to the organization's financial reserves. 
providing capital like they channeled into their newest asset management operations. And this reflects a strategic shift into how the organization manages its assets, moving from physical real estate to more a liquid and potentially higher yielding financial instrument. So this is kind of interesting how they're uh, turning this into liquid cash. And what are they going to do with it? Well, let's see. A few key figures involved in these three companies. Well, when the Jehovah's Witnesses established these new financial companies, and this is just recently, folks, August of 2024, they, bought, they brought in someone with experience to help manage it. So here's, the, here's one of the guys, Philip Jonathan Lofts. Uh, since 2008, Philip Lofts has worked with the UBS, a Swiss bank and financial service company. In October 2010, Lofts was named chief executive of the UBS Americans, America's unit and succeeded as CEO chief risk officer in January of 2011. And in November 2015, Lofts resigned from his role and is now a non-executive board member. And on March 31st of April 2023, he was appointed as a new member of the EFG International Board of Directors. When the Jehovah's Witness organization established its new financial companies, MENA, Asset Management, MINA, MENA, you know, this is taken that MINA, you know, the 10 slaves, you know, they, they, that's what they named this asset management, right? They're, they're going to turn this MINA into money, make some money out of it. So they're not going to bury it. <clears throat> So Mina, and then they have Mina Treasury Services, and then they have Lepta Payment Solutions. And they brought Lofts in to help manage these ventures. So the Jehovah's Witnesses brought this worldly guy in, this guy that has all this experience. And his background at the UBS suggests that the organization is leveraging his expertise to ensure that its financial operations are conducted with a high level of professionalism and strategic oversight, instilling confidence in the audience about the financial operations of Jehovah's Witnesses. So, that's what's happening. Okay, well, let's, it uh, doesn't stop there. Let's go a little further. We all know this guy, Robert Serenko. He's the current president of the Watchtower and Bible Track Society. Now, Robert Serenko has held the position of president of the Watchtower and Bible and Track Society of Pennsylvania the main legal entity used by Jehovah's Witnesses since 2016. Now, he's not part of the governing body, this guy. So, you know, maybe if someone had to take a fall, maybe he's like a fall man, they come in, FBI, okay, who's getting handcuffed? All the, no, 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 Robert Serenko, he gets handcuffed. Maybe he's like a fall guy, governing body, kind of a, another shelter for them. Because at one time, it was one of the members of the governing body that used to be president. But not no more. This is a legal strategy, folks. It's all strategic. Uh, this is all sheltering the governing body themselves. So now, let's see how they do it. Uh, this Serenko, he's uh, been the president since 2016. So for a while. Um, that's uh, ten, almost 10 years, 8 years. And he's responsible for various administrative and financial functions. He also oversees and guides the financial operation strategies related to the Jehovah's Witness global activities, including asset management. And probably, he probably takes the emblems every year. He probably sits in with the big boys club, you know, or the anointed. So I bet you, I don't know for sure. Mark Quistel, also a Jehovah's Witness, has served as a secretary and treasurer for a considerable period. And his role involves overseeing financial strategies and operations, particularly um, uh, overseeing uh, those related to the organizations in the U.S. activities. And, uh, so all these CSA cases coming out, you know, this guy would be, he would be... Uh, knowledgeable in them. He'd have to pay out stuff, all the money he's paying out. He knows what's going on. Now, he is also a key player in strategically planning the organization's innovative financial initiatives. Now, that sounds pretty interesting. Innovative financial initiatives. So, perhaps, like some of these religious groups in Japan, the Japan government was going after that one uh, cult that was taking their money out of the country. 
uh, because they knew they were going to have to pay out all these CSA victims and so forth from the religion. So the Japan government said, nope, there's a rule, a law now, you can't do that. But here we see um, Jehovah's Witnesses on a worldwide scale are able to do this. Hide the money. Could be. Well, this guy, he's a key player. This Mark, this here's the guy, Mark Quistel. He's a Jehovah's Witness. And he's a secretary and treasurer. So he's, he, he knows all the payouts, all the millions, all the thousands per day because they don't give a, they stay silent in court so they get charged. They have to pay out like 4,000 bucks a day. He knows all the millions. Okay, now let's carry on. Dr. Tobias Bro, Brolet, Brolet. Sorry, doctor, if I got your name wrong. Brolet. Well, he's a Jehovah's Witness from Germany, particularly with Jehovah's Zugen congregation or whatever that is, Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, it's a corporation under public law. That's what this is. That's interesting. Now, he now lists his address at the headquarters of Jehovah's Witnesses in Bethel, this guy, uh, in New York. And it's unclear if the organization had sent him to school themselves. Because the organization will send some of their lawyers and count accountants to school. They have to. They have to keep on top of, uh, they have to be educated on how to handle money in the world. And how to fight in court. Um, <clears throat> although they're not good at this, i got to throw this in. Because Bromley lied in court and got sanctioned 153000 So they're not real good at it. But perhaps now they want to get better at it. So they're going outside of the religion. For some help but this guy is a jehovah's witness from germany and he received his doctorate degree becoming the chair of accountant and controlling at the technical university of dortmund from 207 to 209 and he worked as a portfolio manager for the german banking giant sparkass that's what it says sparkass that's how i read it but anyways, uh, here we got a double standard. We got uh, some Jehovah's Witness. If you're higher ranking and they need you, you can go to higher education. But all you rank and file JWs, we want you to stay dumb. No, no higher education for you guys. Only if we say so, and you know, we'll even pay for it. For sure, they paid for it. Okay, now, now Miss Usato is not saying that because she doesn't know. She just does only has so much on her research. Most of us can fill in the blanks. Now, in 2017, this JW that, that got this doctorate degree, and he's the chair of accounting and controlling at the University of Dortmund, real high up. Uh, well, in 2017, he conducted videos regarding risk management and accounting for nonprofit organizations. So here they're helping all kinds of uh, probably other cults, and they're in bed with all kinds of guys um, that are backing cults. So imagine that. And he then wrote a dis dissertation involving interviews with organizational leaders and directors focusing on comparative studies or international aspects of accounting and controlling practices. And given that the Watchtower has numerous cooperating entities in the UK and Germany, it's likely that Brolet leveraged his religious connections to interview staff from Germany and UK Bethels for his dissertation for sure he did Burlett. he is a jehovah's witness now currently Burlett is a, an adjunct professor at germany for profit iu international university of applied sciences and to to the right of this dissertation which is linked to this article below um looks like there's some more information on this so there is some links at the bottom of the article Okay, so this guy here now, uh, Vasilos Papas. I don't know if I said that right. I know I said it wrong, but there it is. Well, he's another director of the Mina Asset Management. And he's also a co-founder and managing director of the Asenagon Asset Management, a firm managing around $57 billion in assets. Now, his involvement in the Mina Asset Management, the Watchtower's management, thing 
suggests that he is leveraging his extensive experience in asset management to help oversee and manage the financial operations of this new venture linked to Jehovah's Witnesses. So folks, there's the rest of the story. Um, key entities and their roles. Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, uh, New York. Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of Britain. International Bible Students Association. The Kingdom Hall Trust. Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of Ireland. Jehovah's Zugan in Deutschland. Um, yeah. So, contribute a contribution to Jehovah? Really? Or is this a contribution to these, these investments, you know, with a lot of these worldly guys and stuff? So it sounds like Watchtower is getting geared up to get their money liquid, which means they have to sell off properties, lots of properties, make liquid cash and throw it into this investment company. So how much money are they putting into helping orphans and widows and the homeless and people that need help? Zilch. Zero. Now here's one of the properties behind me. It's a very uh, watchtower house. It's called Jehovah's Witnesses Irish Headquarters in Newcastle, Wicklow. It's um, a pretty high-end property. So the, the JWs aim to grow their funding by moving into asset management. They want to increase their wealth and influence. And the fact that they are bringing in top financial experts shows that they are serious about ensuring their finances remain uh, vital for the future. And these moves raise questions about the ethics and transparency of how religious donations are used. And that's it in a nutshell. How is our donations used? There's no transparency. Uh, no one knows. Uh, none of our donations are going out there to help people. And they're sending, uh, watch our sends its members to the food bank. So now, mainly when such funds are being directed into sophisticated financial operations, um, as Jehovah's Witnesses expand their economic footprint, it will be interesting to see how this impacts their global operations, especially in the recent scrutiny regarding their harsh beliefs on shunning, the baptism of children, the history on child sex abuse, and their policies reporting such abuse and crimes. So it's going to be interesting to see how they leverage their company. Now, Jehovah's Witnesses currently use World Pay to process credit card donations. However, one plausible reason for establishing these new entities could be to bring payment process in-house. And this move might be aimed to reduce the significant costs associated with online, online credit card transactions and with fees potentially reaching 2% don per donation. And this may amount to tens of millions in fees for this organization. So you think of it, all the credit, you've got 8.5 million people and others throwing money at this, this, uh, this organization. And if uh, PayPal was charging 2%, well, they're, they're, they're raking all the money in. So JW Org says, no, no, we're going to do this all in-house. World Play, World Pay is what they call it, World Pay. And... Um, and it says, if LEPTA is used to handle the donation transactions, as we suspect, it may save them millions of dollars each year. So, so they're using World Pay. It's probably something like pa PayPal. But this LEPTA, uh, once they have all this fluid money to back it all, they can now uh, handle these transactions in-house because they've they got enough millions or billions of money backing them. It's like you become self-insured. Now, if LEPTA is established to process donation transactions, minus treasury services may be created to manage the funds received. Notably, documents reviewed by Avoid JW show the, that numerous Watchtower entities worldwide are linked to minus treasury services, including those in the US, Britain, Canada, Denmark, Ireland, Japan, Norway, Sweden, and more. And minus asset management, therefore, may have been set up to manage the distribution of assets from credit card donations to various entities across the globe. So they might even be doing other uh, services, credit card services. So it's interesting. This is what's happening at Watchtower. This is brand new, August 2024, these new companies. So the links to the aid this article, there's all these links. I'm going to put a... Uh, a link to this whole avoid if you want to look further into this you can 
and uh, you can investigate that further. Now, Miss Usado, she welcomes anybody to email her. You can email Miss Usado at proton.me. And so there you go. So uh, with that said, it's, uh, it's interesting with, uh, with what's going on at Watchtower. Hey, JW Org, what are the donations funding? You won't find this on their website. You have to go outside of them to find out really what they're doing. This is how they this is how they work. This is how not transparent they are with their members. They are fraudulently telling their members, "Oh yeah, we're using our money here, here and here," but they're not. They're investing into real estate, into property, into these companies so that they they can now be like PayPal all over the world. It's all happening. Okay, folks, well, what is this all about? What does this boil down to? Well, all they're doing is begging for money. This is a, com a company, a corporation, a cult that wants money from people. They use the religion. They try to use the Bible to say, oh, yeah, you know, we're like the, the, ten, the ten servants. You know, we, wanna, we don't want to bury our mina. We want to invest it. You know, so they try to use Bible scriptures to justify it. But then they forget about these other scriptures that say to help help the the homeless help the help the orphans help the widows help the poor help people they forget about those scriptures and to JW org this is about them making lots of money so can you not see it this is not a religion this is not an organization about Jesus it's nothing to do with that this is none other than satan's organization well here it is money money that's what it's all about welcome, welcome back. back this is the uh, 2024 convention declare the good news the theme song and this is the theme song for this convention why because the whole theme of the convention is about what this song is about so uh, I hope you enjoy it uh, yeah. These are rallies, remember folks, of these assemblies, these conventions. They rally people in. It's all basic information that we've been taught over the years. There's nothing new. But it rallies people in and it pulls in the JW Org movie production company. And it's just like a movie theater, it attracts your attention, it's all pre-can. But here's the overall. Jehovah gives us the privilege of honoring him with our valuable things. Those who wish to give financial support to the kingdom work can donate using any of the contribution boxes. Those making a contribution by check should make the check payable to Christian Congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses. If possible, however, please donate online at donate. Dot jw dot org. If you would like assistance in making an online donation or you wish to donate using your contactless credit or debit card or mobile wallet, please visit the donation information booth. The donation information booth is located in the main lobby. Before leaving the assembly hall each day, it would be appreciated I'm the talk around town, Remy gave me the sound I need that Skrilla on the Rilla I need that Skrilla on the Rilla Money makes the world go round Downtown, Remy gave me the sound I need that Skrilla on the Rilla I need that Skrilla on the Rilla You got a five dollar bill, put your hands up You got a ten dollar bill, put your hands up You got a twenty dollar bill, put your hands up You got a fifty dollar bill, put your hands up Holla, holla. At Luke chapter 6, verse 38, Jesus instructed his listeners to practice giving. At our conventions, we have the opportunity to give financial support to the kingdom work. Those who wish to donate can use any of the contribution boxes. Those making a should make the check payable to Christian 
Congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses. If possible, however, please donate online at donate.jw.org. If you would like assistance in making an online donation or you wish to donate using your contactless credit or debit card or a mobile wallet, please visit the donation information booth. The donation information booth is located in the lobby. Please be seated. Money makes the world go round. I'm the talk around town. Remy gave me the sound. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. I need that Skrilla on the Rilla. Thank you for your generous financial support of Kingdom Work. Your donations support theocratic construction projects, disaster relief, and conventions throughout the world. Those who wish to donate can use any of the contribution boxes. Those making a contribution by check should make the check payable to Christian Congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses. If possible, however, please donate online at donate.jw.org. Please be seated. <laughs> 